These five AI tools have made a big difference in how I use AI, and I think they'll do the same for you too. The first one I wanted to show you is kind of new. It's called Deeper Research, and there's some alternatives I'll show you here too. So inside of any AI app pretty much these days, you'll find something called Deep Search or Deep Research. Well, Grok recently introduced one that does even more extended research called Deeper Research. And just to show you some alternatives to this, there is a version of that inside of ChatGPT called Deep Research. It's been around for a while. They don't have deeper research though. Grok has two different options for research. Gemini has one called Deep Research as well that you could turn on here, even with the free accounts. And Perplexity has one called Deep Research as well. And pretty much ever since Deep Research came out, I pretty much don't do anything new till I run it through Deep Research and get a very clear, valuable insight from it. I'll just show you how a couple of these work. Gemini, for example, is the first one I started using for deep research. And sometimes it literally goes and looks at like 300 different websites. You can see right now, researching 71 different websites. And then it will give you a very detailed plan of actually plan entire two week vacations using deep research. I also really like the way Perplexity does these. Perplexity actually finished first, so I'll show you. I asked it how to go viral on YouTube, and here is the strategy that he put together, and it has a ton of different resources. So typically how this works is, usually if you ask ChatGPT, Gemini, Grok, a question without this turned on, they give you a quick answer, right? Well, this sometimes, especially with Gemini, I notice sometimes it'll take like 30 minutes of research, look for two, 300 different sources, and then just pick the best ones and create a very valuable document here for you. Now, if you use deep search or deeper search inside of Grok, same kind of thing. I'll let this one finish up to show you the result. Okay, Grok started giving me the key points once it was done, and then it gave me a step-by-step -step guide here. And if you compare this with just a regular prompt inside of any of these models with search turned on, it's a world apart. So I recommend if you're doing anything new these days, you definitely use one of these models and you run the deep research with a very simple prompt. It will just go do the work. You don't have to make your prompt fancy at all. And it will give you all kinds of different resources to dive a little bit deeper. And you do land on the page where he extracted the information so you could read the full article if you wanted to. And Grok really has a nice section at the end with these key citations where you could go a little bit deeper in all these in a very organized way. Now, the next one I wanted to show you is inside of HeyGen. So if you're not familiar with HeyGen, it's one of the leading text to avatar generators. So you type in a text prompt and it creates an AI video with these AI avatars. Okay, so you don't need to shoot anything. This literally turns the text prompt into a video that looks like this. But let me show you one of the coolest things that I've seen lately that they released. It's inside of labs right here. If you log into HeyGen and it's called Video Podcast. This is relatively new right here. They also have these other things that I've made videos about. But this one, Video Podcast, is one of my favorite options. Let me show you why that is exactly. So if you watch my other videos, there is an app called Notebook LM. I cover it all the time. It's one of my favorite apps in the world of AI for the last two years. And Notebook LM lets you basically add a bunch of different sources, YouTube videos, PDFs, and things like that. And you could have an AI interaction with all your own documents, 50 different sources of documents and videos and things like that but it turns it into this audio overview here. So if you haven't watched my video on that, go watch it. I'm not gonna show you Notebook LM here, but this is a podcast between two people that sounds incredibly realistic. It's an audio podcast here. That's what Notebook LM does. So Hey Jen, what they did is they created the same thing, but it's a video podcast between two AI avatars. So not just voice, which Notebook LM does really well, but this is voice with video of these AI avatars. I've created a couple before. So the way this works is you upload a website link or a PDF to start. And here's the PDF that I'm gonna upload here. So it's gonna take all this information, digest that information. Let me show you exactly what it does. And right over here, you have to pick your two avatars. So they have a list of avatars. So I could pick this person right here. You could see they have different poses. And then on the second avatar, you could choose one again from here. You could also choose from your own avatar. So this one, for example, I cloned myself. So if I want my own clone to be in that podcast, I could choose that. It cloned my voice. 
It looks just like me. I've made different videos about this one too, but I'll just choose this one here for this video. Okay, here's our video right now. It's done. It's a conversation between these two people. Again, not real people, but I mean, look at the details. <laughs> this is incredible that these people are AI avatars. Now it's going to have some issues that I'll point out and some ways to fix it. And we have a caption. So I'll play a, just a few seconds of it here for you so you get a good look at it. So they basically offer a kind of personalization engine for your podcast episode. Yes, it's like an all-in-one uh, customization console that lets you fine-tune your narrative depending on your audience, whether it's parents looking for guidance or even experts looking for fresh perspectives. Okay, pretty good. It still has issues, obviously. You could see the one thing they haven't fixed yet is there is just hand gestures that the person is doing while they're not talking. They're listening, but they're doing this as if they're talking. So there is a way around that in simple editing where you could zoom in a little bit tighter into the shot and then you don't see their hand or pick another avatar that's a little bit closer up and it gets rid of that problem. But now you have a brand new way to distribute your content without literally that much work, right? I uploaded a PDF I already have. It wasn't even organized in any way to be a podcast script. It changed it to a podcast script and it had these two people have this back and forth conversation on it. Now, the next one on my list is called Recraft. This is a premium image generation and editing tool. And I partnered with them for this video to show you a premium image generation platform because in the world of AI, one of the things that we do use constantly are AI generated images across all kinds of different use cases. And this one's, by the way, pretty popular too. Over 3 million people are already using it. Now, let me quickly show you around here from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and generate an image just by clicking on this right here. And I'm going to choose this option right here to show you the different styles that you could use to generate your image. So one of the main key benefits of this is it's very photorealistic. So this is one of my favorite options you could see. I mean, just in their demos, but I'll show you some examples here. But they also do have different options as I scroll through. You could see you could do all kinds of different things. The other key benefit of this is it makes really fantastic text. So if you want to generate accurate text in your images, this does a really good job with that. And it does also get human anatomy right too, which I'll show you here with an example. And here's a simple prompt, old man reading a book under a tree. I'm going to make this actually 16 by 9. So you could just use the slider here and have all kinds of different shapes. And I'm going to generate two images here. And I'm just going to click right over here. Let me zoom into this one, make it full screen. Look at the detail of this thing. I mean, the photorealism in Recraft is one of the reasons why I actually chose it for this video. And as I mentioned, this also has editing. So let me show you some options for that. They have this fine tune option right over here. So if I wanted to get quite similar, I could get another image that looks like this, or I could pretty much get almost identical or something a little bit different. So I love this slider right here and I'll go ahead and modify this. I should get something pretty close to this one here. Okay, so he made some changes, but he kept pretty much the composition the same. You could also click this and adjust colors. So if you wanted things to be a little bit more gloomy, you can make it darker. You have contrast over here to change the contrast and you have the spectrum and saturation too. If you wanna make it maybe black and white, you could quickly do that with these sliders. Okay, for this prompt right here, I did a ballerina dancing alone in a theater and I got a couple of really good options over here. And this is what I was saying with the human anatomy. It does an excellent job over here to get you something very useful. And they have other options on top. So for example, I could repaint an area and give it a prompt to change something. I could erase an area, for example. Okay, and I'll select this whole area like this and I'll go ahead and press erase. Okay, pretty clean way to erase something out of your image directly when you generate the image here. And here's a version where we're checking out how well it does with text. Learn AI It's a billboard, perfectly spelled exactly what I put here. Here's another one. Again, exactly the right way. And here's the pricing page. So if you're looking for a premium AI image generation platform, this one, you could get started for free and then you could upgrade here. The plans start at $12 a month. And they also gave me a promo code to give you $12 discount from any of these plans that you choose that I'll link in the description below. And if you're a developer, this is also available in the API. So you could use Recraft if you have any type of app that you're creating that needs premium image generation. Now, the next one on my list from one of the top AI companies out there too called Eleven Labs. And this one is under conversational AI. 
where you could make an AI agent that will take calls for you. So this is extremely powerful right here. You can make these support agents right inside of 11 labs. Now, if you haven't heard of 11 labs before is one of the best text to speech platform is probably the best one out there for that. And now they've added all kinds of new things, including these AI voice agents. So I could press plus right over here and I could choose from one of their templates or I could create my own. I'll just click on the support agent right here just to show you what these templates look like. You start with a language. You could also add a system prompt, which when you're training any type of AI agent, typically you want to tell it how to behave. So when someone asks it a question, it follows this set of instructions and it has a ton of different options like different large language models you could choose from right now. Gemini 2.0 Flash is extremely good and it's extremely fast. I really like it for voice agents and all kinds of different advanced things too. You could choose different voices here. They have a massive library. As I mentioned, this is already a massive library of AI generated voices and all kinds of different things that you could explore on your own. But let me show you a little test of this. I'm recording this computer audio for a second. Hey, just checking in to see what your hours are. Hey there. We're open from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m., seven days a week. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Yeah, what, uh, where are you located? We are located at 5445 Main Street in downtown Chicago. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, thanks, I'm good. And let me go back to the system prompt. I just added that real quickly. So open three to 10, seven days a week. Here's the address I made up, right? So it knows this information based on the system prompt, which you obviously want to give it as much information as possible. And it could be, again, used for any type of support agent. And as I showed you, you could also create a blank one from over here too. And 11 Labs, by the way, has a massive library of other AI things. You could literally create audiobooks here. You could create podcasts, sound effects, dubbed videos. So it's well worth exploring. One of the tools I, I use pretty consistently for all kinds of different use cases. Now, if you do any kind of presentation, which most of us at some point have to do some kind of presentation, this is the ultimate tool for that. It's called Gamma. And they have some new things I wanted to show you too with this one. But the way it works is you could go ahead and generate right over here and you could create yourself a presentation. Pretty much this is the new way of doing PowerPoint presentations. I almost never use PowerPoint now. You could actually turn these into a web page, which I'll show you how to do that even after you create a presentation. You could create documents and you could create social posts too. So I'm going to create a presentation here. And I'm actually going to go to Claude.ai. You could use ChatGPT, any other tool for that. But I just want to show you Claude because they just finally got access to search. Claude for the longest time could be used as a chatbot but couldn't search the web. Now it can and you don't have to turn anything on for that. So I asked it to write a little brief here about my company Skill Leap AI. And I give it the link to the website. So it's going to go ahead and do a search for us. And it's going to go ahead and generate this brief. And then I'm going to copy and paste this into Gamma to show you what that does now. Now I'm just going to take the intro that he wrote for me from that. And I'm going to go ahead and generate the outline from here. And the outline will basically give you the text version of it first. So you can see this will be slide one and so on. So introduction to Skill Leap, all these. And it created eight slides. You could always add cards. I believe the free version gives you eight, but I have a paid version here that will allow me to add more cards here. And I could edit any of these, but I'm going to press generate from here. And I'm not going to edit this part. Just watch this if you haven't used Gamma before. It's literally creating the slides right here, right in front of you with graphics. Pretty much everything you need in a slide is created right in front of you, 100% using AI. You could also, by the way, give it an unedited PowerPoint, like a PowerPoint that just has the information, but is not edited. And it will turn it into something like this. And you could see it looks awesome, right? Now you could go ahead and present it directly from here to this present mode. You could download it as a PDF as well. Or this is one of my favorite options. You could press share right over here. And then you could go ahead and share this by publishing it to a site. I'm going to go ahead and click this. I'm going to convert it to a site. So it's that same presentation that he just created for me in a few seconds. But it's on this URL that I could share. And you could even upgrade and customize this link if you really wanted to. But right now, I could just send this to someone. I don't have to send an attachment, a PDF, a PowerPoint, nothing. Just this website and they could see exactly what I had to say.
Thanks again for Recraft for sponsoring this video. All the links are included in the description. And I also made a video dedicated for Notebook LM and combining it with some of my favorite AI tools, 12 different ways to use Notebook LM that I'll link over here too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.